hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel today we will be doing a reaction video to the young and reckless season one trailer obviously you know i'm on there too you know crispo we're about to get into some things let me tell y'all the tea is hot let's get into it you are now watching now that's tv i make this shit too easy out of their name at this point because we're the baddest cast on Now That's TV. The baddest cast on Now That's TV and step that because we most definitely are. Period, Kai. <laughs> Honestly, I did not see that kid coming. I swear I did not. But y'all gonna have to stay tuned to find out. It's a valid reason why Ivory was doing what she was doing. But it was, let's just say it did not involve me. Keep that clear. You know what's crazy? People didn't even get their leg back. I'm sorry, honey. If you kick me in the face, we are gonna have to go to toe every day. I'm gonna I'm go crazy in that bitch. I do not give a fuck, no. I can't go out like that, especially on national TV. You know everybody's watching, right? Uh-uh. No. Could never be me. Could never be me. But it was you. So. Anyways, let's get back into this. I wanted when y'all called me to be on the show. Thanks. Just gotta go. Whoever come off of the door, if it's the dish that I'm looking for, we finna get it up. The motherfucking princess, Sai. I'm not gonna lie, she is my favorite new face along with Kai. Baddies. I love them. I love Sai and Kai. Baddies, for sure. And you already know, the motherfucking princess in the building. I love her. Pretty bitches, but pretty bitches that stand on business. Stand on business. Y'all wanna get reckless? Let's go get fucking reckless. Okay. I'm not gonna people do not play about their motherfucking food. Especially that I ain't gonna lie, bro. That was the most funniest, craziest scene. My, in my opinion, that was the funniest, craziest scene because people do not play about their food. Y'all better feed a motherfucker because y'all know how it be. Hangry is a real thing. Hangry is a real motherfucking thing, y'all. Y'all know me. Y'all know how I get down. You could drag me to the ground, beat me, stop me, do whatever the fuck. Bitch, we going round for round every motherfucking day. You gonna have to leave for in order for me to stop. Because I'm on that ass every motherfucking day. Christmas, Thanksgiving, bitch. I'm on that neck. I don't understand if bitches know what they signed up for and know that they are on camera 24-7 but delusional at its finest like how can you just clown yourself like that I, like come on bro you're so gangster and so hard show it 
because it's not showing. But anyways, y'all. So now that you guys see my reaction to the video and my comments towards it, um, I'm going to describe the Young and Reckless cast, all the girls on there, uh, with one word. And I'm going to keep it short, simple, cute, you know, uh, why I feel that word fits them in my opinion. So we're starting off with Sav. The one word that describes Sav is bad as fuck, as y'all can see. She is a baddie, and honestly, I don't feel like... Sav is too pretty to fight, in my opinion. KP. I think KP is a blast. Like, she's just a confetti. Like, she is a blast. I love KP. That was one of my roomies, and that's the girl you call when you want to go outside and have a good time. Hey. I agree. Honestly, you guys, I know you guys are going to probably come for me in the comments about this, but this is my opinion at the end of the day. I think she's a sweetheart. I love Ivory. If y'all really get to know her, she's really a sweetheart under all that. It's a good heart. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, moving on. Adriana. That bitch is a fraud. Honestly, that bitch is a liar. She's delusional. She's just... She's not what she claims she is, honestly. Like, how are you so gangster? But just y'all gonna have to stay tuned. A bitch ain't so gangster after all. Anyways, next. Sai. Sai is a boss ass bitch. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm a boss myself, and bosses recognize bosses. When I see her walk in, I'm like, man, who's that? She's a little baddie. And then when I got to know her, I'm like, she a boss. I like her. I give credit where it's due, honey. I ain't no hater. She is a boss. And yeah, that's a female you can look up to. Fergamo. Oh my God. My third and final roomie. I love my roomies. Fergamo gives me like an aura. Like I want to go and meditate with her. Like she's such peaceful and she makes me feel like calm. Like my anxiety levels in my house was like on 10. And every time she came around, I feel at peace. But definitely, we got to meditate, baby. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. Cass. I think Cass, I honestly didn't really get to know Cass or talk to her like that. But y'all got to stay tuned. But in my opinion, I think she's, her one word for her, she is laid back. She is very laid back. I can say that about Cass. Charmaine. Charmaine is my Sag twin. That's my one word for her. She's my Sag twin. She is amazing. You guys are going to have to stay tuned. I love Charmaine. She is... I love her. Uh, Legacy. Honestly, because I'm a real blunt bitch. In my opinion, my opinion. Legacy is lame. She's lame because she was in the house saying I was doing too much. Y'all going to find out why she said I was doing too much. And in my opinion, if I'm doing too much, then you're doing the most. Because people were claiming they weren't getting paid enough, but were acting like they were getting paid enough. I don't like that hypocrisy, but I don't I don't have a problem with her. I don't not like her. Like I just think she's lame in my opinion. But yeah. Naj. Do I have to say too much? Like she's a superstar. In my opinion, Naj is a star. Like she is one of my fan favorites from the Academy and from other shows. Like she is a superstar and she keeps getting better. Every like from what I see, Nod, she grows every season. Like every show she's on, she grows in, like into her person, into a woman. She's growing into her confidence, into her aura, into that bad bitch she really is. You know, under all that fighting, she a baddie. As y'all y'all gonna see. Cause so like, I feel like everyone, like, in the, like, y'all gonna see, but I feel like in the beginning, people didn't really, really get to know me until, until towards the end. But that's okay, you know? Y'all, y'all gonna see. But, Kuzo didn't care about none of that. She just loved me, and I loved her, so, Kuzo, all love. Melanie. In my opinion, Melanie is misunderstood. Like, I got to know her, my opinion. I got to know her, like, we smoked when she first came in the house. And she is so sweet, too. She's a sweetheart, too. I just think that she should, like, things, like, shouldn't went the way they went, honestly. They could have gone better. Like, none of, like, the way stuff went down, I wish it never went down like that. But, hey, certain substances don't get you thinking right. And y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say too much. 
And I can see myself sometimes because I was misunderstood in the beginning as well. And y'all are going to see that. So I definitely saw a little bit of me and her. So it did like, I stayed out of it. Like, I ain't no dick rider, you know. Y'all, I handle my business and people stayed out of my business. So she handled her business and I stayed out of her business. And that's just what it is. That's just the real bitch in me. But anyways. God. That girl is a fashionista. She is a Bretz doll and living image. Like, she is a fashionista. Like, she came in with the look. She slayed. She ate. Left no crumbs. That bitch devoured with her looks. With just her looks. Shay. Honestly, I was so confused. But then thinking back and looking back and really thinking about it, that girl is a puppet manipulative master. She's manipulative as fuck in a puppet monster. Like, y'all just gonna have to stay tuned because... Whew, the tea is boiling. Mima. Mima is a MILF. Like, when she came in, I thought she was a host. I'm like, wait, girl, you is a cast member? Are you sure? Because I'm thinking you was a host about to interview us. You know? But she is a MILF. She is definitely a MILF. Y'all, definitely Mima is a MILF. Now, let's get to the one and only Ferrari. Big Rari. What I can say about Rari, y'all, is she's real as fuck. I love her. I love Virgos, in my opinion. I love Virgos. Like, Virgos are real as fuck. They stand on business. They bosses. Y'all already know I'm a Sagittarius. She's a Virgo. Do I need to say too much? Like, and mamas, thank you for the opportunity. I will forever say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you. To close it out, I just want to, what y'all can expect from me personally is I stand on business. Y'all might under, misunderstand me in the beginning a little bit and not understand why I was doing certain things. But towards the end, y'all gonna understand what I was doing was not wrong. I was just standing on business like I always do. But stay tuned because this is not the last y'all see from me. There's more to come and more to see. Bye, guys. Love you. Till next time. <laughs>